Hey, devoted moms. It's Tasha and Regina. Hello, hello, hello. It's Thursday, June 6th. How's everybody doing? Hey, Regina. Hey, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in forever. I'm sure it's been a couple of days, but it feels like forever. I know. I know. You know, I've been on a roller coaster ride. A good one, though. A very good yeah. one. A very pleasing one. So. Um, I'm excited to be here. Hey, Devoted Moms, how are you? I uh, hope that um, everyone is safe and secure. There's been so many storms and um, just uproar with the weather. And even here in Maryland today, it's very beautiful outside, but it's actually a little chilly. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and that's after, of course, we've cleared out all the winter clothes and course. Um, I was smart enough to leave out a couple of fleeces, so um, that helped this morning. But it's uh, it's nice. It's just very windy, and I think that we're getting some of the some of the storm that is coming from somewhere else, Canada. Yeah. Right? Didn't Philly get hit last night? I think really bad. Um, you know, Tasha, I'm not a big news watcher, and so I hate to say it, but. I probably get prompted by Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. Somebody died. <laughs> or yeah. there's been a storm. So right, right. I'm not really sure um, if that happened. If so, you know, brothers and sisters in Philly, y'all got great love down there. So I'm sure you all are taking care of each other. Definitely. Uh, I have no doubt. I've met some, I've been there, visited, and met some incredible people in Philadelphia. Um, Yay, shout out to Philly. Instagram. Yeah, so I hope that they're all safe and sound. Yeah. Um, so, Tasha, the last time we uh, were together, um, we had a conversation that we where we talked about discipline, and we talked mm -hmm. about how devoted moms... Um, different techniques that work and things that we feel like we could do better. Right. Uh, and so uh, Devoted Moms, that's what we're going to talk about today. And first we're going to just kind of catch up on what's going on in the world and then uh, we hope to be joined uh, by one uh, very special young man, uh, Jordan Anthony. And so, um, so Tasha, what's shaking in your world? What's going on? Oh my gosh. A lot, actually. Um, we are closing on our house next Friday. Yeah. And I understand like, there's enough room in your backyard if I have to plop a tailor, I mean, a trailer, which is now called a module home. Like, there's enough space in the backyard. The backyard, right. <laughs> <laughs> We've never had this big of a backyard, so this will be fun to work with, and it's like a clean slate. There's really nothing out there. There's a few trees we... Uh, we'll probably remove some smaller trees, um, but yeah, we're excited. We were just there yesterday meeting with the architect uh, who was drawing up the plans for our master bedroom. Uh -huh. So um, so that was exciting, and okay. so we had a quote guy come over and quote moving for us yesterday, and he's like, I hate to tell you this, guys, but uh, for you closing next week, you're not, you're a little bit far, uh, a little bit behind on your packing. <laughs> so we were like, yeah. <laughs> We know. I mean, it's it's been rough trying to um trying to get all packed. So that's probably going to be a very last minute uh, venture for us. Two o'clock in the morning packing. Uh, well, so that's been going well. What you have evidence of is it will get done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think yep. I'm a little bit spoiled too because we've been moved by Kenny's job a few times, and so a lot of times they kind of come in and do it for us. So, uh, you do know they're nice. not going to show up for this. They're not. Nobody's coming, so we can't wait for that. <laughs> oh well. Um, oh, and then I don't know if I had a chance to. I may have spoken with you, but we um, also had Nia's um, speech appointment, speech evaluation. Mm -hmm. um, this week, and it actually went very well. Um, you know, some of my concerns were definitely substantiated. She does have some delay, but she did very well, um, and you know, we left feeling very positive. And so it was just, you know, kind of good to follow our gut. You know, like we've talked about here on Devoted Moms so many times that you know, you know your child better than anybody. And so if you just feel like there's something a little off or something that you just want to get checked out. It's just worth it to do it um, and just find out so that you can really be there for your children if they need additional help. So, um, so like I said, it was, a, it was a good meeting. We left very positive. Um, we have some tools that we're going to work with her in the next couple weeks 
and uh, you know really keep track of you know her vocabulary and see if there's some improvement. But I left there you know feeling really good and uh, you know even have a couple of naysayers in my life, which that's normal. Who you know felt like we were rushing things or being a little bit oversensitive. But I'm glad that we followed you know, our gut, what we felt was right for her and um, and that we're on the right path with her. So I'm excited about, you know, really being there for her and uh, following her and making sure she's on the right track. So that was really, that was a busy week. That was a long day. That evaluation is a long day. But she did really, she did really well. So how about you? you uh, you've you been on a roller coaster with a bunch of kids, right? Sorry, I have. Um, I have, uh, yeah, I've been with a lot of kids over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> but all really cool kids, all really cool kids. Um, we spent Memorial Day weekend with um, my cousin, Rick, who, devoted moms you may remember, is just a, a devoted, phenomenal father. Um, we did our, our annual uh, cousins weekend, our cousins retreat. And we went over to uh, Indiana and just kind of hung out, you know, the cousins, um, young and older, in separate rooms doing different activities. Right. Um, and joining back together when it was time to eat or something. Um, but we had a really good time. And what we did was we, um, my nephew Jordan, who comes every year um, to visit, uh, met us in, in Indiana. So we drove over, and then he met us there, and Rick picked him up from the airport, and this was his first solo flight, but he did wow. phenomenal. He, he didn't get on a flight to Fiji or anything like that. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he did really well, and then we all, you know, just, just you know, like sucked up as much as we could of each other. The mm -hmm. first order of business is there is an old-style um, candy store. In the oh. development where um, Rick lives in his little town, and mm -hmm. it's walking distance. So, you know, Uncle Rick passed the money out, and they left to get mm -hmm. as much sugar as they could stand. Nice. And consume it. So, um, so yeah, so it was kind of funny. Um, and then, so there were four girls and one teenage boy, and you know, Jordan is just so awesome with um, with the girls. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I, I, I just, I think he's just phenomenal. Anyway, but they get on my nerves, and I can't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did have to, you know, kind of declare that he was in charge when we are not around and right. we listen to. But you know, he didn't take it and use it for bad. He just, mm -hmm. you know, he just got to orchestrate a little bit. He'd be a great camp counselor, actually. So yeah. we did get a chance to see some of Indiana. It was kind of cold. Well, it wasn't kind of. It was cold. Okay. Um, but we did um, do some swimming. We found an indoor swimming park. And um, thank God for the Internet because, you know, you have these plans set up, and then all of a sudden it's 60 degrees outside, and it's no way right. you can go to the outdoor park um, like that. And so... Um, so it was it was really good, and then we drove back to we drove back to Maryland, mm -hmm. and it was fun too because um, you know I got a chance to just talk with Jordan and spend a little one on one time um, with him. So you know we just kind of started connecting, and I'll tell you a God story. I'll tell you my God story early. Okay. So we went on a serious budget. And in fact, I purposely drove at night uh, so that all I would have to pay for was breakfast <laughs> and gas. Right. And gas. So I, it was really funny because um, on the way back, we were on a tight budget again. And I was trying to figure out like food versus gas and that kind of thing. So the, uh, Jordan wanted like some Waffle House. And they didn't have Waffle House, but they had this Denny's. And this is how God works. Um, I'm not a big Denny's fan, but we were mm -hmm. in a service station getting gas and asked the guy, like, is there a Waffle House around here? He says, well, no. He says, but there's the best Denny's in the world right down the street. You know, there's two Denny's mm -hmm. here. I can't stand the other one. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> this is the one to go to. And so because of that, you know, we went. Mm -hmm. We go in the door, and this is Tuesday. We go in the door, and I'm like, guys, you know, we're going to have to keep it light. We might have to share a plate. How about kids ate free? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> kids ate free. And so big ups to Denny's for Yay. helping a single mom out because <laughs> it was tight. So I was able to go over and get a full tank of that, a, a full tank of gas. Right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and our bellies were, you know, I wasn't too full because I didn't want to fall asleep. But we were right. probably about three hours from home at that okay. point. Um, which, you know, I can drive that in my sleep. Yes. You can. And so uh, the girls, you know, got comfortable and kind of fell asleep. And we were, uh, Jordan and I actually, I hope there's no state troopers watching this. If so, I'll deny where, what state I was in. Um, <laughs> we, watched oh, Lord. we watched Hunger Games. Okay. <laughs> which is not a nice movie at all. Oh my goodness! No, I, I, yeah, I, I have heard that it is not. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I didn't want to see it, but I wanted to read it because mm -hmm. um, it was a book that Jordan and I were going to read together, and we just never really got around to it. I read at it, and it was just like, what? Children mm -hmm. killing children to the last mm -hmm. person standing? Yeah. So you know, devoted mom is funny because I have been having this ongoing conversation with a few parents. Um, mm -hmm about appropriate movies mm -hmm. and so uh, the girl cousin Rick's daughters had seen it okay and my girls were like well mommy why can't we see it you know right. they saw Same it age. and right. Marie from school saw it and and I just said you know what you um, mommies have to decide what's gonna work for you and you've got to trust me on this because I don't want you you know, having nightmares. Right. I want you to think that this is kind of this could happen. Right. Um, and so I have to make the decisions on movies. And right. and you know, and for a, a minute, you know, the co other cousins were kind of like, "We saw that. That was nothing." And sure. I even asked them. I said, "Well, was it? Did you have? Were there some scary parts in there for you? Because you know, it's pretty violent." And they said, "Well, yeah, I covered my face on a lot of stuff." So then the truth comes out. <laughs> right. They were scared. Right. <laughs> the truth comes out. And so it was just very, um, you know, the movie was very interesting, but it was also very hard to watch just because if we go, it was futuristic. Right. And to think that we would put so little worth on our little, on, on our babies. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a little girl that was younger than Simi that had been picked to participate in this very violent, gruesome activity. Right. right. Um, so anyway, so um, but for Jordan and I, <laughs> we <laughs> we propped up the iPhone, you know, on a car dash, and I listen to books on tape all the time, so I was really listening. Um, mm -hmm. and glancing um, more so than just like staring and then driving. So right. I was, I was, you know, I was doing my thing. <laughs> I know you're probably about to perk out, but. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally an auntie moment there you had, but it's all good. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, totally so got, an auntie moment. We, so we got back here and um, there were a few things that, um, that I wanted to do with Jordan. Um, you know, devoted moms, we often can have, you know, like nieces or nephews or cousins come in, especially for summer break. Right. And what's really great is um, I know in our part of the world we have Groupon, mm -hmm. Travel Zoo, um, Living Social. And what it allowed me to do was to plan some activities for, my te for this teenager um, without, you know, breaking the bank. Right. And so we went on a speedboat ride. It was a tour, but a speedboat ride nonetheless. Um, normally, it's about twenty-five dollars a person, and mm -hmm. I paid twelve. And so um, we went on another cruise. It was eight dollars, and it's normally twenty. So yeah. those, you know, kind of chunks of activities gives you a chance to get out and about. Yeah. Um, but I think, and we'll ask Jordan uh, once he joins us. The the best part was Auntie taught him how to pop tags, so we went thrifting. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had twenty dollars in our pocket and we went thrifting. Right. <laughs> and so he got turned on to what we call recycled, reusable, mm -hmm. um, repurposed right. uh, items for little to nothing. And uh, and, and so uh, he found, it started out, this is how it started out. He didn't have any shoes that he could cut grass in. Okay. Because he's, he's not an outdoors kind of guy. No, he is All of his shoes were like really, really, really nice. Yeah. And so he was like, Auntie, I really, I can't cut shoe. I can't cut grass in this. And so um, we went to Goodwill and I said, well, just pick out some shoes that you can fit and then we'll donate them back when you're finished. Right. And he found some, of course, that were white that he liked and he wanted to take home. <laughs> but he did cut totally the Totally defeating the purpose. Totally defeating the purpose. But he still, he did cut the grass though. He did okay. cut the grass. Um, so <laughs> it was just funny, um, you know, how the mind works, but he ended up realizing that he could make his money go so much further if right. he could get creative enough to go to, um, some of the thrift stores and consignment shops. And right. I did take him out to the Mecca, but he didn't like the Mecca as much as, um, I think he needed probably Carlos to be there with him. Okay. To um, help him, kind of guide it, yeah, guide him. Yeah, you have to have a game plan going in the mecca. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So we did some thrifting and um, some sushi eating and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, all of this great stuff. I mean, just he was—he's a very easy guy. So whatever you, you know, whatever we, whatever you want, Auntie Gina. Right. Um, which was fun for me because I'm thinking sticking to mainstream, and then I'm like, well, he does that all the time. I mean, we're going to yeah. get our subway in, but yeah. let's try something different. And he did. He, he um, uh, tried it. He liked it. Uh, he uh, put a serious dent on a sushi buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you know, he had a really good, he, I think we had a, he had a good time. And we just talked about so many different things. Yeah. Um, about what's going on in his world right now, and, and it was really good. So I'm really hoping um, that he will um, be able to join us to just kind of, you know, give us some more information. The other right. thing I wanted to share was that I went to a place called Spa World. Yes. Carlos and I went to a place, and... For those moms who are all over the world, and I'm not sure if we're in Korea, if there are people listening from Korea or if they're folks of Korean descent, but we went to a Korean style spa. Uh -huh. We got there at 7.15 in the evening and we left at 6.30 a.m. Wow. It was divine. It was, <laughs> it was I, all I can say is I... It, it was all about wellness. It was sober. Um, it was healthy. It was uh, just, oh, it was just such a calm place to be. I mean, uh -huh. many people, there were like 70 people sleeping there. Um, wow. And they had these rooms called polis rooms, and each uh -huh. room was made out of a different mineral. So there was a red clay, there was amethyst. Um, there was uh, charcoal, mm -hmm. and so they and they had these varying temperatures, and they even had an ice room with, which was like sixty one degrees. And so cool. each one of these rooms had their these properties um, that helped to heal the body and mm -hmm. influence um, illness in the body. And so it was just really cool. But at the same time, they had free Wi Fi. <laughs> and they also had um, a restaurant, so we had yeah. food. Um, and then they had a smoothie bar, and they had big screen TVs because the playoffs were on. <laughs> <laughs> they knew how to cater to everybody. Yeah, and yeah. that was it, Tasha. Um, they, it's open for all family members. And so there were some little kids running around early, and eventually they went to sleep or left, I'm not sure. Um, right. There were teenagers that I promise you stayed up all night long playing cards. They weren't disrespectful or anything, right. but they were teenagers. Um, 
And so it was like being in a whole new culture and world and imagining what it feels like maybe for folks who are coming here from another country. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, you know, they there's a part of it where it's there's no clothing. Okay. Um, and that's the the bathe bath and or the mm -hmm. bathe pool and the sauna, and the men and women are separate there. Okay. Uh, and there's things that you can do there. A lot of water therapy and I mean the massages from just the water were just incredible. And then uh -huh. um, I got to experience a, a scrub where. Uh -huh. Devota Moms, I don't know if you've ever made a casserole and forgotten to spray or grease the casserole dish, the pyrex right. dish, and the casserole had like maybe cheese or something in it. That's how they scrubbed me. <laughs> I have never been so clean in my life. I looked at a lady and I don't know if she understood me. But I said, I have never been this clean in my life. That is a great analogy, by the way, because I totally know like what you're saying. I'm picturing I'm it. I'm envisioning it. Bad. Right. You know. Get that little... side. <laughs> she had both hands going. And then for a minute, wow. I thought I was going to have. And for a minute, I had to look back to see if there was somebody else there with her. Because she was. Right. She put my arm up and oh my god, it was, <laughs> it was hilarious. But if you are anywhere near a place that says that they are a Korean style spa, check them out. This place is open 24 hours. Some places are only open till midnight. Um, yeah. uh, but when we come, when I come to Atlanta okay. in okay. July, we are so going because there's one in Atlanta that. Keisha had been telling me about my sister-in-law, and um, when she told me about it, I was like, that just sounds weird, <laughs> and it was for about right. 10, 20 minutes, and then you acclimate, and that's um, very indicative of humans. You know, we acclimate mm -hmm. to what becomes, what would be so strange and freakish or whatever becomes normal, and it can happen right. very quickly when there's a sense of respect for um, why people are doing this and how they're doing yeah. this, and uh, so it was. It was just really a, a mind-opening um, mm -hmm. experience. And I went with Carlos, who's usually you know meat and potatoes, straight right. kind of guy. Straight shooter, yeah. And he was willing, and I mean, I think he had a fabulous time too. He Facebooked now, it, so he must have. I know. Now we left there and went to IHOP, but. <laughs> So, you know, I had so to come back to movie. America. Right, I had to come right. back to America, right? Right. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That, that yeah. is great. I'm glad so you guys it was, had a good um, It was a really great weekend. <laughs> and, um, I'm glad you had a good time. I know. It was just so, um, you know, it was kind of spontaneous, uh, which mm -hmm. devoted moms, you can do that. If you have your support system, you know, built up. Um, sometimes you just have to get away, and it's about an hour from here. Um, but the girls, mm -hmm. you know, were with their dad, and then my housemate was here. Um, and speaking of housemates, uh, I have someone who may be watching from Kenya, from Nairobi. Uh, oh, Melissa is in Kenya, Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, and it's going to do a little tour of um, a few parts of Africa, and uh, mm -hmm. she's going to be off for ten days. So I am a mother of four plus one dog. Um, and those girls have been awesome. Oh, good. They have a lot of praying, too. And right. Popping, popping a couple of volumes here. And there. <laughs> but they have been very Whatever you need about, to do to get through your day. You know what? That's right. It's all about having the tools that you need. Um, but they have, uh, the older ones have stepped up into a leadership role. They recognize that there's a little bit extra to do, and it's been really, I mean, it's been really cool, and, and you know, this is the first week. She'll be gone till next week, and okay. so we're, we're just going to keep rolling through with it, so, awesome. so yeah, yeah, and she was able to travel because I'm able to, you know, hang here with the, with the girls. Right. 
So, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank days. you, uh, thank you, devoted moms, for joining us today, and thank you, Sylvia Global, again for this wonderful opportunity to do the show and to reach out to people and devoted moms like in in Kenya and Nairobi. How awesome is that?